this is a partnership, a historical partnership, and one of the most wonderful and awe-inspiring efforts we've undertaken as a school district. I am a great believer, a great believer in using the skills, the talents, the gifts we've been given in service to others and to the community, and I'm in good company. It surprised me because Columbus City School students get it. You understand the value of being of service. Being a servant leader is putting the needs of others ahead of your own in service to a larger goal or a larger purpose. And the good news is that in doing that, you get so much more in return for yourself. We did four different art projects with, dis with disadvantaged adults, and they were uh, very different skill levels. And these disadvantaged adults had, they were alcoholics, drug addicts, just, diff just what society wouldn't call normal. And we taught them art. So their, so we can build their self-esteem so they can reintegrate into society. I feel like we ultimately learned leadership skills, we learned how difficult it is to be a teacher, and we definitely learned how to be open-minded when coming across a problem we didn't know how to solve. It's basically based around blood drives, and you get CPR certified, and if you donate so many times or volunteer so many times, then you can earn a red cord on graduation day, which many of us have as seniors. And we try to get the community involved and all that. I learned that helping people is actually pretty joyful and exciting because just knowing that you're the reason that someone's happy today. I am a student at Marion Franklin High School and I'm a senior this year. Our project was about organ and tissue awareness basically and we wanted to get more people aware of how to be, become an organ donor and different issues that take place in, Marion Frank, like in the Marion Franklin community. I learned that it only takes one person to make a difference but if a team works together they can really make something happen. I go to school at Eastmore Academy. The focus of our project is a Hope family, and basically what we do there is we um, we cook food and we prepare it, and then we serve it to the homeless of Columbus City, and we just want them to feel like, you know, somebody's there. I learned that it's not about yourself. When you're doing these kind of projects, you have to know that you're doing this for other people. You're giving, you're serving for others, and you're giving yourself for others, and you just have to be selfless. you as a finance chair for the city of Columbus there's absolutely no way no way that we could pay for the services that you're providing to our residents you are making our city a better place you're helping individuals to move forward in their lives this is a $25,000 scholarship and after uh, several discussions and interviews uh, we are very excited uh, to announce the winner today and that is Fatima Kaba of Columbus School Congratulations to all of you scholarship recipients and best wishes and best luck in all of your future studies.